What if one of the biggest scientific debates in paleontology has finally turned a corner? For decades, researchers have argued over a mystery. Was Nanotyrannus a real species of Tyrannosaur, or just a teenage Tyrannosaurus rex still growing into its crown? Now, a new discovery from Montana has revealed evidence so detailed that it may finally tip the scales. And if it holds up, it could reshape everything we thought we knew about the last days of the dinosaurs. In the Hell Creek Formation of Montana, paleontologists have been studying one of the most remarkable fossil pairs ever found, the so-called dueling dinosaurs. A Tyrannosaur and a Triceratops preserved together in what appears to be a deadly encounter frozen in time. For years, scientists couldn't quite place the smaller predator. Its size suggested a young T-Rex, but its bones hinted at something different. After years of preparation and detailed analysis, a new study has taken a closer look at that Tyrannosaur, and the results are fascinating. The evidence suggests that this animal was not a juvenile after all, but an adult of a distinct species, the long-disputed Nanotyrannus lancensis. To test that idea, researchers examined the bones at a microscopic level. Like tree rings, dinosaur bones preserved growth lines, and in this specimen those lines had plateaued, indicating growth had stopped. That's a strong sign of maturity, but anatomy tells a different, even deeper story. Compared to T-Rex, this animal had a narrower skull, longer arms with longer hands, and more teeth. It also had fewer tail vertebrae. These are not features that change with age, they are structural species level differences. Taken together, they suggest that Nanotyrannus may have been a smaller, faster predator that evolved alongside T-Rex, filling a very different ecological niche. If that interpretation is right, it means that Hell Creek wasn't ruled by a single tyrant, but shared by two. Tyrannosaurus rex, the bone-crushing giant, slow and unstoppable, and Nanotyrannus, the agile hunter built for speed and precision. They may have targeted different prey, or even competed when their territories overlapped. It's an image that paints the late Cretaceous not as a one predator world, but as a complex dynamic ecosystem balanced at the edge of extinction. If these findings are confirmed, they'll force a major rethink of T-Rex's life history. For years, many smaller Tyrannosaurus fossils were assumed to be juveniles, but if some of those were actually adults of Nanotyrannus, then our models of T-Rex growth, behavior, and population size will all need to be re-evaluated. That's how science works. New data reshapes old assumptions, and what we thought was settled suddenly isn't. Some researchers still argue that the evidence isn't definitive, and that future discoveries could shift the picture all over again. But that's part of what makes paleontology so exciting. It's a story still being written, 66 million years later. For half a century, Nanotyrannus was paleontology's ghost, a name whispered, debated, and often dismissed. Now, with new technology and new fossils, the ghost is taking shape. Maybe it was real. Maybe it was something else entirely, but either way, the mystery has brought us closer to understanding one truth. The age of dinosaurs was far more intricate, far more alive than we ever imagined, and it looks like Nanotyrannus was actually a valid species after all. If you enjoyed this deep dive, check out my video on how T-Rex became an apex monster, and subscribe for more prehistoric stories that prove science is never truly settled. But until the next discovery, stay curious.